Hello. This lesson covers measurement. Measurement is very important in chemistry and in science in general. We do a lot of measuring, and it's important that we do a good job of measuring things. Um, so to review this, let's go over uh, these rulers and do a couple sample measurements. Uh, what is the measurement indicated on the following ruler? If I look at this ruler, I have my one centimeter mark, my two centimeter mark, my three centimeter mark. Between there, I have tenths. So this is 1.1 centimeter, this is 1.2, 0.3, 0.4, 0.5, 0.6, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, and then 2.0. Now if I look at where the arrow is, I see that arrow between the 1.9 and the 2.0. So it is 1.9 something. Now that last number, I'm not sure what it is. I have to estimate it, because there's no mark there. So if I look at that, it looks like it's about in the middle, maybe just to the left of middle. So I'm going to say 1.94, because 1.95 would be right in the middle, and it looks to me to be just a little less than that. Now if you said 1.95, that's a perfectly good answer too. That last number, that 4, is an estimate. So, let's look at the next ruler. Um, I just want to make point that to say that it's 2.0 or 1.9, that is incorrect. We know it's neither of those things. It's in between. So it's about 1.94. And like I said, if you said 1.95, that's a perfectly correct answer too. That last number is an estimate. Now this next example, if you look at the arrow, arrow is right on the 3. It's not 2.9, it's not 3.1. So it's 3.0 something. Now, if it was a little bit past the 3.0 mark, I'd say 3.01 or 3.02. If it was right before the 3.0 mark, I might say 2.98 or 2.99. To me, that arrow looks like it's right on the 3.0. So I'm going to write 3.00. And what we want to do is you always want to estimate that last number. And if you look at the ruler, these are tenths. So this is 2.1, 2.2. Each little mark is a tenth. We always want to go one past, one decimal place past the smallest mark on the ruler. So if the smallest mark on the ruler are tenths, we're going to estimate to the hundredths place. And that's kind of what I said there. Um, and the last example here, what would you read that as, that measurement as? To me, it's between the one and the two, and to me it looks like it's right between the one and the two. So I'm gonna say one, because it's one something, because it's between one and two, and I'm gonna say 1.5. Because it looks to me right in the middle. Now, some people might say 1.45 or 1.51 or something like that. Well, we can't estimate that far out. The smallest mark on our ruler is one centimeter. So one centimeter, two centimeters. And we always estimate one past the smallest mark on the ruler. So I'm going to estimate the tenth place. But you can't keep estimating. There's no way you'd be able to tell if it's 1.50, 1.51, 1.52, anything like that. You can only estimate that last number. And that's it for uh, measurement. A um, couple things I want to point out. This last ruler has less accuracy and less precision. We'll talk about those two concepts later. Um, a couple key points to remember. The accuracy of a measurement depends on the device or tool you're using to do the measurement. So if you have a better ruler, you get a better measurement. Um, and you always want to estimate the last number for an analog that is non-digital measurement. So analog meaning it doesn't give you a digital readout. You're not reading it from a little screen. So that's it for this lesson. Next lesson will cover significant figures.